I noticed my kids were getting through a ton of AA batteries, primary disposable batteries, using their Xbox One wireless controllers. So I switched them to rechargeable batteries. And now that I've uh, acquired an IMAX B6 balance charger discharge, I thought it was a great time to test the capacity of a whole bunch of those low price disposable or primary batteries. So I trotted off to the local UK dollar store called Poundland and grabbed a, a few packs for a pound each, which at today's exchange rate works out at around a dollar forty a pack. The only uh, sell from this bunch that was not purchased at Poundland was the Tesco Extra Long Life, which came in a pack size of 32 uh, directly from Tesco Supermarket, a big supermarket chain here in the UK. So running through the list, we've got the Kodak Extra Heavy Duty with a date of 2015 and a pack size of 12. The Duracell Simply, a best before date of 2020 and a pack size of 2. The Deu Super Heavy Duty, best before date 2018 and a pack size of 14 on that one. A six pack of Kodak Extra Life, November 2015 on that. Five pack of Polaroid, Best Before 2022, 10-pack of Sony New Ultra, Best Before 2018, and the 32 Tesco supermarket batteries at 2020. Now, there's uh, nothing like a good scientific test, and frankly, this is nothing like a good scientific test, but I did try and keep uh, the playing field level. All the batteries were checked for c the current dates and were acclimatized or acclimated as they say in our former colony at room temperature i'm using the constant current method to discharge the batteries the test drains all the batteries at 500 milliamp hours and to a cutoff voltage of 0.8 volts we'll then see which battery gave up the most power and then take a look at the milliamp hours uh, per dollar so here are the batteries and let's get on with the tests Now, uh, that looks a bit of a mess on the screen now, so let me put those into a graph for you. So I'm going to graph these uh, batteries one by one, showing how many milliamp hours we got out of each cell, starting off with a Tesco, which came in at uh, 1044 milliamp hours. The Duracell simply uh, gave up the ghost at 499 milliamp hours. The Kodak Extra Life, 898, Polaroid Super Alkaline, way up there at 11 uh, 37. Um, Kodak Extra Heavy Duty 174, Sony New Ultra 112, and uh, the Deu at 98, bringing up the rear. But if you recall, the uh, batteries came in different pack sizes. Now, there is a slight advantage here uh, to the Tesco because I bought those in a pack size of 32 and clearly uh, has a slight advantage in, the, in there. Um, that 32 pack cost me 14 dollars whereas the rest cost me a dollar forty a pack so bear that in mind when you see how many milliamp hours we get per dollar spent starting off with the polaroid super alkaline came in top with a fantastic 4061 milliamp hours four amps per dollar uh, spent the kodak extra life came in at 3.8 amps per dollar spent tesco 2.3 2.9, 2.4, uh, and remember that was the one that was bought in, in a higher bulk pack, so bear that in mind. The Kodak 1.491, uh, the Deu 980 milliamp hours, the Sony 800, and uh, the Duracell simply a pathetic 713 milliamp hours. So hopefully you found this useful in your endeavours to find the cheapest battery uh, for the with the greatest power and if you've found it useful please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't found it useful then please give me a thumbs up